Hello, everyone out there. Hello, world. Are you ready to work out? We are going to work out. We are going to get jacked, one might say. We're gonna do some strength training. We're gonna be creative here. We're gonna get deep into those muscles. We're gonna work a little slower today. And uh, I have some fun ideas. So, equipment. You, if you have a kettlebell, if you've picked one up from here, or if you have one at home, perfect. If you have a heavy weight or maybe a couple of weights that together might make a heavier weight, you can use those. If you don't have any of this and you're like, oh my God, I don't have fitness equipment, totally okay. I hear it's sold out on Amazon, no surprise, but we can make our own. So, I'm assuming that everybody has a backpack. So, if you don't have it out, go grab one. I'm gonna be working with the backpack today just to prove that all of these exercises are possible. Mine is 27 pounds. So I've loaded up with some cans, mostly with big books. You know, these, these books that like sit on your coffee table and don't get used, and now they're gonna get used as weights. So, you know, I think a lot of us walk around with super heavy backpacks regularly anyway, so now we're gonna use it to work out. So we're gonna use the, you know, we're gonna use the straps to hold on to. And, you know, with 27 pounds, this is a pretty decent bicep curl, pretty decent added weight for squats and so on. I think that's it, other than some water, maybe a towel to wipe your brow, and a Saturday morning willingness to work your body. It's amazing, it is the thing that we can do, we can, walk away from the news, we can walk away from the couch, get up, get into our body and move together. So I'm really thrilled, as always, this week to be able to do that with you. I realized that today it's been a week since I've taught live classes and I'm starting to miss you all. I mean, I missed you all week, but now it's really sinking in that I miss you all. So thanks for joining me here. Hello, oh, I see so many people. Hi, Erin. Oh, I hope you and the boys are working out. Okay, I'm gonna get to this so that we can, uh, we're already 10.33, time flies, I tell ya. So let's just get started with a little bit of a warm up. Waking up those joints, swinging out the arms, same way I like to wake up the body with most workouts, just rocking back and forth. Moving through, shoulders rolling out, coming into the spine, twisting. Oh yeah, sometimes you can give yourself a nice little back adjustment. I think I got two cracks in there. And just reaching up overhead, opening up that side body. This gesture alone, makes you feel good, makes you feel powerful and strong, and is really good for opening up the joints. And we're gonna clasp the hands behind us, open up across the sternum, heart center, maybe just gently move the head, wiggle those hips, bring the arms together in front of you, lift up overhead, Oh, good crack, I got a nice one in the hips. That was good. And then roll out those wrists. And we're gonna swing the leg front and back, just gently. Find that balance, that center of gravity. Oh, good morning everyone out there. I'm too far away to see your names, but I see you all popping up. Hello. All right, once you've lubricated that hip, switch to the other leg. And if you're like, oh, I'm feeling a little off balance, that's part of the work. You can place your hands on your hips if you find that easier. Find something on the ground that's not moving. to steady your eye line. And then let's roll out the ankles. So if you're just joining in, for today's muscle jack class where we get jacked, this is right in the heart of strength training. So we're gonna be doing three sets of almost every exercise. We're gonna do reps in interval cycles. So 
We want to sort of hit around 10 to 15 reps of each move, no more than that. And uh, if you have a kettlebell or a heavy weight or something heavy that's, that you can hold at home, grab that now. If not, backpacks. Who knew? I mean, I think some of us carrying these around knew how heavy they were. But you're going to load them up with the heaviest stuff you have around. I mean, if you have a garden and you have rocks and you can spare a backpack, rocks are really heavy. You could put rocks in there, uh, books, those big coffee table books, cans, anything that will weigh it down. I did that and this is 27 pounds. So if you had a bigger backpack or even if you had heavier stuff, I'd just put books in here. You could probably weight it down even more than that. So everyone out there, we are going to get started. So we're going to do squats. You can keep your feet flat on the ground or if you have weights, you can give yourself little kitten heels and raise those heels up. Now what does that do? Why are we doing that? It really forces parallel alignment, which we're going for in this squat. It also is going to force you to press your bum down as you go back and really activate those glutes. If you're like, MJ, don't have weights, don't have weights, totally cool. You can use a book or two, one that's the same height. I've got Shakespeare's folio. You can tell what kind of, a, what kind of education I have. Uh, this might be sacrilege. I feel like Shakespeare would be cool with this at these times. He'd be like, you stand on my book for squats. So you can do just that. Lift your heel onto two books, same, same deal, same effect. All right, we are gonna go for a 40 second squat interval, weighted squat interval. I'm gonna give the option in the last 20 seconds of that minute to either rest, isometric hold, or pulse with me. You decide. Grab your weight, lift your heels, in three, two, one. Now if you have a backpack, you can hold the, the straps of the backpack. You can also hold it like you love it. And you can also hold it at the sides. I'm not gonna recommend putting it on your back because that's actually harder on your back. And I want this to be hard on your quads, not your back. You want to make sure that those knees are over the middle of the toes. You're pressing your bum back. Nice low squat. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Now you can rest here, or you can hold here, or you can pulse. Wherever you're at, draw those shoulders down and back and breathe, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Break, step off the books or the weights. We're gonna do bicep curls. So we're going back and forth with these two exercises for three rounds. Now, if you have a backpack, you can grab the straps and work here as you would with a kettlebell. So if you do have a kettlebell, we're doing bicep curls right here. And if you have a backpack or even just a bag, you can grab onto the sides and get the same effect. 40 seconds in three, two, one, and take it away. Bicep curls. So hopefully you have heavy enough weight. So if you usually do 15 pounds in class and you don't have any weights at home, then find a big enough backpack that you can weight down to get close to 30 pounds. It's all the same weight at the end of the day. The straps aren't as conducive as you might want them to be, but you know what? We are being creative and making do. I'm feeling this in three, two, one. Now either you can carry on for the last 20 seconds, take a break, or join me for little pulses. Wherever you're at, soften those knees, squeeze in your abdominals, draw the shoulders down and back and breathe for three, two, and one. A little rest, shake it off. We're gonna go back to those squats. Little kitten heels up on your weights or your books. If you're like, I don't wanna lift my heels, then you can stay flat on the ground. Here we go, back to those squats in three, two, one, and bend. 
knees. Now I'm just going to show my knees here, so I'm going to hold this bag peekaboo off the top. Hi guys. Uh, you want to make sure that those knees are over the middle of your toes, so try not to buckle in or out. We all have a little bit of natural turn, most of us anyway, in our feet, but I'm really trying to get the parallel alignment here. Pressing your bums back, nice and far, sitting deeply. Yes, chest up, bum down in five, four, three, two. Now for the last 20 seconds of the minute, you can either carry on with these full range, take a break, or pulse. You can also hold isometrically and breathe. I'm gonna pulse. I'm gonna be a bold pulser. In five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, shake it off. And we're gonna go right into those bicep curls. So the beauty about going back and forth, upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, is we don't need as much recovery time because the recovery to the quads right now is happening while we work the biceps. But we're keeping that heart rate up, and so we're working our cardiovascular system at the same time. Double trouble whammy bammy. That's right, doing all the things here on a Saturday morning, including bicep curling with a backpack. hey -oh. making it work. We have eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two. You can keep going here, you can take a rest, or you can pulse. Brace the core, soften the knees, breathe. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last round squats, stepping back on those weights or on the books. Raising your heels in three, two, one, and squat it out. So if you want to rest those arms, and if you hold it down, you may bang your knees, then hold that backpack nice and close. Now, if you have weights or a kettlebell, you can hold it right here. You can hold it at the bottom. Hold it nice and close to your body like you love it. You're having a love affair with a kettlebell. I mean, I feel like a kettlebell would make a good lover. Solid, strong, grounded. How about we hold, stop and rest, or pulse? Here we are, into the last 15 seconds of the minute interval. Draw the shoulders down and back. Breathe, open the mouth, maybe smile. Six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Step down. Get ready for the last set of bicep curls. In three, two, one. 40 seconds. I look like I'm trying to turn you guys on and off. It's my timer. And draw those shoulders down the back. Squeeze in the core. Make sure your knees aren't locked. Spread your toes in those shoes. Or maybe you're barefoot, maybe you're socked. Soften the knees and exhale as you come up, inhale as you go down. Yes, we're almost at the end of the 40 seconds. Now you can carry on here nice and slow, or you can take a break, or you can pulse. How are we doing, everyone out there? Oh, hello, Beanie. And Jess, you're back. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're back. Okay, thumbs up. <laughs> I'm learning how to communicate these ways. Let's uh, get back 
And uh, if you have a mat, you can go on your mat. If you have, if you're just working on the floor, we're gonna be doing lunges. Let's all start with our right leg in front. I'm going to encourage us to do weighted lunges. So, I'm gonna do them in profile, so you can see my form. If you're like, I don't need an extra weight for lunges, then go weight free. But if you wanna add a little ammo to your lunge, either hold your backpack or hold your kettlebell. Again, we're gonna do 40 seconds, full range. The last 20 seconds, you have the option to either rest, either hold, or pulse. Here we go. Three, two, one, right leg in front, back heel is up, tucking the pelvis under, and aiming to drop that back knee down. So what we want to avoid in lunges is leaning forward, really hard on the, on the front knee, and then it doesn't work your glutes the same way which there's a lot of glute work benefit to a solid lunge. Now, if this bothers your back toes and things are feeling wonky, it is a challenging move, especially if you're new to lunges, then maybe you turn out the back foot and just hang here in a warrior one. You can also do that. Here we go in three, two, one. Either take a rest, either hold isometrically or pulse. Squeezing the back butt, hugging in those lower abdominals, drawing the shoulders down and back. We have six, five, four, three, two, one, and shake it off. Okay, for our upper body exercise, we're going to do overhead presses, grabbing onto the side of that bag, bend and lift it up, bend and lift it up. Now the bend is less of another squat and more of an ability to launch those arms up. So it doesn't have to be a full squat. In three, two, one. Now having said that, if you want a full squat, by all means. So my bag right now is almost 27 pounds. So I am feeling this. Now, if you need to take a break before the 40 seconds are up, then by all means, take a break. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Resting, 20 seconds recovery, as we pivot around into the lunge on the other side. Left leg in front for me over here, as long as it's the other leg, we're going to switch it up. Here we go. 40 seconds is, seconds is, that's many multiple seconds of lunges. In three, two, one. You can hold your weight close. My weight is a backpack here to demonstrate that we can all add some weight. Lift the back heel up. Squeeze your back butt. Hug in those lower abdominals. Find that full range of motion. Think of dropping your back knee right down to the ground. Now if you're holding a kettlebell, maybe you're holding it down in the opposite arm. Maybe you're holding it close to your body. We have three, two, one. You can either wait and take a break or you can hold isometrically or you can join me for pulses. We have 10, nine, eight, keep going up there, seven, you can do this, six, five, four, three, two, and one, shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. We're gonna go back into those overhead presses. Here we go, three, two, one, overhead press with that weight. I'm getting a sweat over here. I don't know about y'all out there, but I've got some good droplets of sweat going down my brow and my back. Feels good. Just sweating out all of the things. Yes. Ten more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Catch a breath, catch a break, shake it off. We're gonna do 
all of that one more time. Lunges in both directions, overhead presses. I'm gonna give you a little bit of recovery. Come in and check on everyone. Hello, hello, hello out there. If you're just joining in, we're doing muscle jack, strength training. We're using either a kettlebell or a heavy weight or maybe two heavy weights, but you are going for heavy weight. So if you don't have a weight at home, you're gonna grab a backpack or anything that you can fill with heavy things and hold. And I'm gonna make it as conducive as possible to everybody out there. Mwah! Hugs back. All right. Let's get back into a lunge. Right leg lunge in front. Okay, we've got three, two, one. Grab your weight. Right leg in front. Back heel up. Tuck the pelvis under. Drop that back knee down. And up. So I have a really good backpack. I'm gonna give a shout out to Lole. This is a Lole backpack, and it is rammed with stuff. It's carrying the 27 pounds worth like, like it's no big deal. So you're really gonna test the strength of your backpack here. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Either rest or hold or pulse. Draw the abdominals in, squeeze your back butt, and 10, nine, eight, seven, yes, six, keep it up, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Overhead presses, working those delts and shoulders in three, two, one, here we go. Feet shoulder width apart, a little bend, to thrust the arms up. Inhale, exhale. And if you have your kettlebell, keep it up. Use that breath. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Pivot it around. Left leg in front. Lunging in five, four, three, two, one. Take it down and up. Squeezing that back butt, lifting the back heel, dropping down center through your pelvis. Now if you're finding that you're getting off balance, keep your eye line forward to something that isn't moving. Slow it down. Draw your navel up and in. And breathe. We have five more seconds here, full range. You can keep going through to the end of the minute. You can stop and take a break. Or you can join me for pulses. Squeezing the back butt, holding that weight, breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it off. Catch your breath. Get ready for those overhead presses. I know, I'm not getting a whole lot of recovery time, am I? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, bend and overhead press. Bend and overhead press. I mean, all jokes aside, if you need a break, take one. Hey, you're doing this on your own. Kudos. You need a break, have a walk, have a laugh, and then join back in when you're ready. But if not, keep up to my pace. And join me in the arm burn in five, four, three, two, and one more. Grab some water. For real, take a break. Have a moment. Cheers, everyone. H2O. Checking in, seeing how everyone's doing. Hello. Oh, hi, Alex. 
Oh, I love the pictures of you and your nieces. Nice to see you. Mm. Okay, I can just splash myself in the eye with a little bit of water. Yes, no vodka in here, none, or else that would have really hurt. I find vodka I'm working out not as conducive as one would think. Mm. Water, however, very good. Okay, let's keep on rock and rolling. I'm gonna do a time check. We're gonna do shoulder pull-ups and heel raises. So today in Muscle Jack, I'm gonna keep this really clean with pretty traditional, um, pretty tr traditional strength training moves. And then we'll get a little more creative as the time goes along and we have to get more creative. So in the meantime, I would grab two weights, depending on what you have at home, maybe you grab two weights here. Maybe you grab one kettlebell and maybe you grab your backpack the straps of your backpack and pull up right here. Actually, I think it'll work easier if I grab the ends here and pull up like this. You want your elbows to be nice and high. All right, same time pattern, 40 seconds in three. Whoop, time check, man, it goes by. I did a little bit better planning today, a little shorter workout. In three, two, one, here we go. Draw those shoulders down and back. Tuck in the abdominals, soften your knees, and shh. Shh. So for anyone just joining in, we are doing Muscle Jack, which is a strength training class. We're going for heavier weights. As heavy as you can, really, is what we're aiming for. And I, right now, have a 27-pound backpack. I'm discovering that the vinyl is tough to hold on to when there's a lot of weight. Now, you can carry on with me, nice and slow for the last 20 seconds. You can take a break, or maybe you're gonna do pulses. We have eight more seconds. Wherever you're at, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Maybe you need to put the weight down to give those hands a rest, by all means. We're gonna do heel raises for the next minute. Here we go, in three, two, one. So your feet aren't very far apart. They're about hip width, which is not far apart at all. And we're gonna draw the shoulders down and back, as always, squeezing in the abs, and maybe add a little tush squeeze at the top. If you can, oh yeah, uh-huh, there it is, there it is, lifting up, feeling all the toes connecting to the ground, imagine there's a cord at the crown of your head pulling you up kinetically through your body, up to the sky, and keep moving through. If this is really working, it's going to go from those calf muscles right up into the hammies. It'll have like a flight, like a progression of the backs of the legs. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, I felt that. Oh yeah, that, that was, there was a, a lot of reality there. The reality being in all of these muscles back here. Let's go back to those shoulder lifts. Here we go in three, two, one. So I'm not getting a whole lot of break because we are alternating between upper body and lower body here today. We don't always do that, but today we are. So I was just working my calf muscles. Now they're getting a rest. And my shoulders are working. And while my shoulders and traps and all that business get a rest, I'll go back to the legs. See how that works? Back and forth. And then we keep going without stopping keeping that heart rate up for the duration of the workout. In five, four, three, two, one. Now maybe you stop and take a rest. Maybe you carry on for the last 20 seconds. Maybe you do pulses. Soften those knees, squeeze in the abdominals. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. 
Take a little moment, take a break, maybe roll up the shoulders as we head back into those heel raises. In three, two, one. Now maybe you need to put the bag down or the weights down just to give your hands a rest. By all means, do that. And if you want to keep that out of weight, maybe you pick it up halfway through this interval. Wherever you're at with these heel raises, squeeze in the core. Have a, a sensation of tucking your pelvis underneath. So instead of arching, you want to zip up that space between your navel and your pubic bone. Maybe even squeeze your tush so that you're lengthening your lumbar as you lift up to the ceiling. <sighs> Keeping everything engaged in the middle and just allowing that work to happen in the back of the legs. Are we feeling the burn? Das burn, as they say in Germany. There might be another German word for burn, but das, they would definitely say. Because I am, let's do three, two, one. If anybody knows the German word for burn, please let me know. I'd like to use it in a sentence properly. How about we do some shoulder raises? In three, two, last set. Here we go. Last round. Three sets of each exercise in this upper body, lower body interval. Yes. Keep it up, breathing as you pull up. Exhale, inhale. Now we're almost at the 40 second mark. You can take a break. Here we are, the last 20 seconds. You can keep going slowly, or you could join me for pulses. We have eight, seven, six, five, almost there. It's four, three, two, and one. Going back into those heel raises last time. Three, Two, one. I'm feeling good. Everything is better when you work out. I gotta say before I started, I was feeling a little blue, you know, going through the various different stages of grief, one might call it, or acceptance or realization. And now that I've started moving my body and I feel like we're all together, I feel good. I feel really good. This is better. So, let's take a moment and just be happy that we're moving our body in time and space, doing something good for ourselves. And I would say the world, as we get healthier together, and let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, there is your minute. Okay, if you're feeling like I need to stretch and release those muscles, then by all means, do this stretch for those calves. You can do it on both legs. I'm gonna come on in and say hello. Check in with everybody. See how everyone's doing. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I guess I can wave at you guys. Let me try this. Oh boy, technology. It's a real, it's a real thing, isn't it? I hear they've been doing this for a while. <laughs> okay, we are gonna head in. I'm gonna do a little time check. I may have to cut out one of my, my series of exercises. How are we? Okay, 11.04. I think I'm gonna head down to the ground and we're gonna do a bunch of different stuff, mostly for our core. So first up, Turkish sit-ups. So once again, you can grab a weight, a heavy weight. You can grab your kettlebell or you can work with your weighted backpack. If you're just joining and you don't have any weights at home, we're aiming for something between 15 and 30 pounds. That's, that's sort of what I'm hoping for. Of course, if you don't have that, totally okay. It's a workout no matter how you cut it. If you want to create a weight, load up a backpack. 
We're going to do 40 seconds, Turkish sit-ups. I'm going to demonstrate this. Your knees are slightly bent. I like to lift the toes and really point them up to the air so that we know we have parallel alignment right here. It's tempting to again turn out, but I really want to keep us engaged and linear. Then you're going to hold that backpack, come down, inhale at the bottom, and exhale up. Now, I'm a big fan of adding in a shoulder press at the top. You can almost pendulum swing it up. So if you can imagine that there's a rope or a pulley pulling you right up, awesome. Here we go, 40 seconds in three, two, one, take it away. Take your time rolling through the spine on the way down. Now we're going to do 40 seconds with a 20 second break. If you feel like you don't need the break, then you can keep going as I explain the next exercise. In four, three, two, and one. All right, good old fashioned Russian twist. Grabbing weight or your backpack, lengthening the spine, leaning back, maybe just a little, maybe 45 degrees, and twisting. Now you can add in one leg up. You can add both legs up, but this is quite challenging with all this weight. Here we go, 40 seconds in three, two, one, and take it away. Now, if you're feeling like your shoulders are getting way too tuckered, and the weight is too much, you can by all means put the weight down and work here. So what we really want to focus on is lifting the sternum, keep the eye line static, and really focus on those obliques. You're also working through the back, front and back of the center of the core. And 10 more seconds here. Again, if you have a weight, maybe you're holding it at each end, Three, two, and one. Okay, next up, we're gonna do chest presses with an optional abdominal leg extension. So I'm gonna give you a couple of options for the lower body here. As we hold either our backpack, our kettlebell, or a weight or two, we're pushing up from the chest. We could also add in some glute curls. If you want to work a little bit harder, legs and tabletop, pressing your spine in. Lengthen those legs out as you chest press. If you've got a kettlebell, this kettlebell is 27 pounds, exactly the same as my, my backpack. I'm going to make sure you can see my head. You're working here. If you have two weights, you could use both those weights here or here. Okay, without any more explanation, I'm gonna get right to it. I'm gonna use the backpack, assuming that most of you have a backpack right now. In three, two, one. Here we go, pressing the spine in. Maybe I add those legs. I just got attacked by the straps of my backpack. We're just having a moment here. <sighs> I've never been this intimate with my backpack. I mean, maybe I have, but on the other side, it's always making connection with my back, hence backpack, not front pack. Although I'm sure front packs are useful as well. And three, two, one, take a rest. All right. We're going to do those three exercises again. Here we go. Catch your breath, heading back into those Turkish sit-ups. You can do this without a weight as well. Here we go. Three, two, just kidding. There's my timer. It's so far away. Three, two, one. Now, if you have a weight, it might look like this. You could do this with your kettlebell. You could also do this with your backpack. You could also do this with no weight. Just the weight of pulling your torso up 
which is plenty. Ten more seconds here. You can do this. Keep pushing through. We got this together. Three, two, and give me one more. Maybe you take a rest by opening up those legs up to the side, stretching up the hip flexors. We're going to do some nice stretches for the hip flexors after this. Let's head into those Russian twists in three, two, one. I know all these international names, like I do wonder, did the Russians name this or did we name it or somebody else? I mean, I just sort of, I'm a little bit of a sheep when it comes to the names of fitness moves. We all sort of get on this bandwagon, like burpees. Who created the word burpee? Again, got a little bit of trivia. If you've got the answer, let me know. I'm definitely going to start looking it up. It's all very good questions. Because I would venture to call these seated oblique twists. Maybe that's just too long. Maybe Russians feels more adventurous. Three, two, one. Really talked you through that one, didn't I? Okay, burpees. If anybody can find the history of the name burpees, or Russian twists, or Turkish sit-ups, Bonus marks, gold stars for me to you, virtual gold stars. Here we go, in three, two, one, we're gonna do chest presses with a couple of different lower body options. So you can do two weights here, you can do one kettlebell, or you can do your backpack. You can also add a glute squeeze, or you can add a leg extension. For those abdominals, pressing your spine into the ground, I'm going to do this with the backpack so you can see it, that it is possible. You may get attacked by the straps of the backpack. It's all right. You know, they're light. They're just trying to be friendly. And you can also hang here, pressing the spine into the ground, just working the arms. And five, four, three, two, and one. Last off. Okay, let's do a little time check here. Oh, look at that. We totally have time to do one more round. I know, isn't that awesome news? I know you were like, but I don't just want to do it two times, MJ. I feel like I have 17 times in me, but we will stop at three. I know you can do more, but let's just go for three. Starting off with those Turkish sit-ups. In three, two, one, come on. There we go. All right, bend your knees, toes are up, and on our back, inhale, and exhale. Shh. Shh. Now, I'm gonna do this with the kettlebell. To demonstrate some heavier weight. Now again, this is 27 pounds, so maybe if you have one that's this heavy as well, you don't wanna lift it overhead, you just want to get yourself up to a seated position. And we have four, three, two, and one. 20 second recovery as we head into Russian twists. Are you ready? That's got to be on my playlist. I'm going to give you guys a playlist. We're very quiet. I know. Music. That thing. So I'm going to send some playlists that you guys can maybe use to accompany these workouts. I want to put them on the tube of you. Uh, so I'm, I'm making the music list live so that we don't run into any music rights issues. And uh, then other people can enjoy them as well. But of course, you can play music at home. Anything that floats your boat. Oh, that Russian twist is 27 pounds. It's hard, hey? Maybe you lift one leg up. Maybe you lift both legs up. Looking up, lifting the chest. We have six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, chest presses on your back. Optional lower body exercises. I'm going to do this with the backpack. We're going back and forth for everyone. Here we go. Back on your backs. Grab your weight. In three, two, one. Here we go. Push it up and down. 
up and down. Maybe you add the butt. Maybe, oh yeah, that feels nice on the lower back after those Russian twists. Maybe you add the leg extensions. Make sure if you're here that you're pressing your spine into the ground. If you have single weights like this, maybe you have one in each hand. In fact, I'd advise you have one in each hand to make it heavier. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Put that weight down. Hug your knees in. Rock it out. Well done out there. Awesome work. We have one last itty bitty couplet of exercises. They're gonna live in the plank world. Hello, oh, hi Sam. Hello, Laura. Oh, it's so nice. It's so great, we're all hanging out in a virtual room. It's, uh, it's a thing, it is a real thing and it's really a beautiful way to keep us all connected. You know what else is another great way to keep us connected? Planks. When we do them together, it's like we're sharing everybody's energy. So I think that on that magical note, we should all plank together. So I have some fun options for planks. Hand planks with an optional backward row with a weight or a kettlebell. I tried to do it with my backpack. It was awkward. So if you, if you don't have a weight, I'm gonna give you just uh, another version to do. And then we're gonna do regular planks. Maybe you stay in the plank. Maybe you pulse one leg up to add a little something something to the backside, as well as to your core for balance. Okay. This is the last bit of work we're gonna do because it is 11.17. So we have already been working out for probably about 45 minutes. Bam, kudos to all of you. So this is our last little push out there. All right. I'm going to use a weight to do this. So we've got a hand plank, a good old-fashioned hand plank. Spreading your hands, tucking the toes under. Bum is in line with the shoulders, so try not to sink or come up. You really want to level out, looking ahead of your mat or your carpet, drawing the navel up and in. This is plenty of work. If you want to add some something, you're going to pull up one hand. Trying not to shift too much to the side, trying to stay linear. That in itself is work. If you have a weight, you can add that weight in. Now, if this is all just a little bit too much, by all means, drop the knee. Same knee, knee as hand supported. And then you could also work here. You could also work without a weight and work here. So this is good. This is good work for the core. Also getting into the lats posterior delt. Without further ado, 40 seconds in three, two, one. Hand plank with an optional backward row. Now if you have that super heavy kettlebell, this might be a bit much. You could probably give it an attempt with the knee down, dropping down for a little bit of rest and Or maybe you just take this opportunity to hold isometrically. So choose your own adventure out there. This is all good work. No matter how you cut it, we're into our last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, next up, we're gonna head in, don't worry, we will get to the other arm, I promise you. We're gonna head into a plank. You can hang in a regular plank, or you can join me for a pulse on the right leg. Here we go, we have three. Two, one, plank it out. Right leg, maybe pulses up. Don't let the form wane, so don't start to sink. Puff up the back. Don't lift up and get lost. Look ahead, bum down. Keep that right butt cheek engaged. Keep the supporting left leg engaged and strong. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Give it a shake. We're going to do everything on the other side. This is our last couple of minutes of work. Coming back 
down to that hand plank with an optional backward row on the left arm. Sorry, the other arm. For me, it's the right, actually. In three, two, one. Okay, headed into that hand plank. Maybe you add the back row. Maybe you put one knee down. Same knee is supporting hand. And add a little bit of a twist through the side. Maybe you're not using a weight and you're hanging strong in that hand plank. Maybe you're adding a back row without any added weight. And we have a five, four, three, two, one. 20 second recovery, heading down into the forearm plank, optional to pulse up that left leg. Here we go. In three, two, one, plank. You could add in that left leg pulse. You could also drop your knees and puff up the back and stay here. Keeping that head up, eye line slightly ahead, bum in line with the shoulders. This pulsing action is optional. We're into our last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press it back into a child's pose. Reach those arms forward. stretch. I am going to do a stretch with you. I feel jacked. I hope you feel jacked too. On this beautiful sunny day, I look quite angelic as I'm backlit here. That is what I'm going for. The angel of fitness classes. I'll work on, I'll work on the uh, persona. In the meantime, congratulations to everybody out there who made it for Muscle Jack this morning, and to all of you who join in later for the workout, enjoy. I'm really, I'm feeling it in my shoulders. I'm gonna feel it a little bit later, I'm sure, in my quads. I hope you do too in the best way possible. Maybe take a Epsom salt bath, drink lots of water, maybe do some cardio to actually flush out the lactic acid. So over the next couple days, do some cardio. You could even do it with me. We are posting our, we, me. I'm posting next week's schedule. It's on the website. We have an, a new online live section. So you can see what we're doing there. And we'll keep you updated on progress because I wanna get more Soul Fuel teachers involved in this. So that uh, you don't just see me, you can see a bunch of us, um, not together, unfortunately. So let's, uh, let's stretch, shall we? Let's do a little bit of a shoulder stretch as I talk us through, dropping those shoulders down, really hugging in. We did a lot of shoulder work today, so necessary. Hey, Jessica Melro, oh, it's so great. Hello, hello. Oh, it's so nice to see, to see to feel your energy out there. And give it a little shake. And other arm, drawing the shoulders down. Hooking in, really give it a nice solid hook and push the shoulders away. I sometimes call this a, a lady crusher, you know what I'm saying? Like you're like pushing them down. And reach it up. And other side. And you know what, I'm gonna stand here with you now to stretch. Maybe you grab onto something, I don't know, a wall, what have you. We're gonna do a standing quad stretch. Tilt the pelvis in front of you, line the knees up, and really feel that awesome stretch down the front of the leg that's bent. Keep pulling that heel closer into the butt cheek and take a few deep full breaths here. And tomorrow, 
I'm going to take a day off and get organized for next week's schedule. Please share it with friends, spread the word, and, uh, and come and join in. And let's hug that knee and maybe roll out the ankle. And to get into those hip flexors, we're going to cross and take a seat. Now, by all means, hold on to something here. The balance is less important than really getting into those hip flexors, hip rotators. And sit a little deeper, maybe add a gentle push to that knee. And three, two, one, switch it up, other leg. Bringing those knees together, pressing the hips forward. So when we do strength training like this, it is, I know we can sort of dismiss the stretch and kind of go, ah, I don't have time. I don't want to be still for that long, but the stretch is really important. It really helps your joints, muscles sort of release some of that lactic acid. It's also a really great time to stretch to increase mobility, flexibility, because your body's warm. Your body really wants to do it. So enjoy the few moments, the payoff moments of relaxation. And hug that knee and roll at the ankle and reverse. And let's cross that leg over. Maybe you hold on to something. Maybe it's a coffee table as you sit nice and low. Getting into the hip flexors, hip rotators, even around into the glutes a little. <sighs> It's a beautiful day. Maybe you have a balcony, even just to sit by the window, read a book, have a tea, and enjoy the sunshine. It is cold, I can say that much. And draw those shoulders down and back. Just wiggle out the hips. And let's take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, bend the knees round the spine like you're hugging a big beach ball. And again, inhale up. And exhale, round it out. And again, inhale up. And this time, open and expand through the chest. And thank you, everyone out there. Great work. Thank you for joining in. And I wish you a lovely day. Sending you much love out there. And let's stay connected. Peace.